A new report shows toxic contamination at the CTS site in South Asheville has hit a record high. And residents near that area are out protesting today, demanding the site be cleaned up immediately. News 13's investigative reporter Mike Mason is streaming live from the CTS site, and he has the latest. Mike. Yeah, these residents are out here right now protesting in hazmat suits, saying the latest testing proves that the contamination is not only getting worse, but it's also spreading. Scientists say it could affect thousands of residents, and that's why these people are out here right now protesting, calling on the president himself to step in and take action. People who live near the contaminated CTS site are frustrated after the most recent report shows the highest levels of TCE ever. You know, we just feel that uh, the EPA is not doing their job and uh, you know we want to make as much noise as possible to make sure they do their job. Yeah, it's frustrating. Jeff Wilcox is a geology professor at UNC Asheville and has been tracking the CTS contamination for the past six years. The TCE peak. Working as a liaison between the EPA and concerned residents, the new report shows TCE is migrating away from the site but he says that's nothing new. And in 2009, a MAC Tech report shows that groundwater is flowing toward Southside Village and toward the Rice Springs. And here's one, right up there is another one. Last Friday, the EPA sent resident Dot Rice the final 1,300 page report showing TCE is still on her property and the highest levels ever reported were recently found at the CTS site. Near the bedrock, some 50 feet below the surface, the EPA found TCE levels over 1.1 million parts per billion. In the groundwater, it was more than 86,000 parts per billion. The state limit for TCE in water is three parts per billion. That means the groundwater is now 28,000 times more toxic than the state allows. So it could go on for miles? Miles and miles. So it could potentially affect hundreds or maybe even thousands of people? If they're on drinking wells, yes. In 2001, the EPA found TCE at levels of 830,000 parts per billion. Officials considered that contamination so serious, they issued this time-critical action memo, warning the site poses a threat to public health and the situation will worsen if a removal action is delayed or not taken. That was 12 years ago, and the contamination was never removed. Every day that goes by, it gets worse. Last November, we questioned EPA official Samantha Urquhart Foster about why the EPA hasn't removed the contaminated soil. And we feel like the contamination has migrated down to the groundwater level, so just excavating soil um, at this point isn't necessarily the best solution. Their, their own reports show that the source is still there. So excavating, removing the soil is an option? It is an option. They have to get that source out of there or it will just continue to tr fall through the soil column and go out in the groundwater. That's why residents are protesting today, pressing the EPA to take immediate action in light of the recent report. We just need more people in the community to stand up, stand with us, and ask for EPA to come and enforce a cleanup. <laughs> Now, both Wilcox and a technical advisor say removing TCE is relatively easy, but neither CTS nor the EPA has any plans to clean it up right now. The EPA says a cleanup won't begin for at least four more years, unless, of course, they decide to address those high levels of TCE that they recently discovered. We'll, of course, let you know how it all turns out. Reporting live at the CTS site in South Asheville, Mike Mason, News 13.